Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be using, um, what am I using? Ah, this is Glitter Bell's Opal Crush. And then you can see in there as well, we are going to be using Flaming Fling. <laughs> you tell I had to think about that. I know how you say that one. Yeah, try saying that three times in a row when you've had a gin. Um... <laughs> And that is from the Glitter Fairy as well as these water decals. Um, I love Opal Crush. It's just, it's beautiful. So I'm just going to put a full coat of it. Now obviously this is not a core powder, so it all needs to be capped. Um, so I'm putting a nice thin layer of it on the middle finger because later on we're going to come back. And that's the one we're going to fight with the water decal on. <laughs> But that comes later in this video. So for now, I'm just going to put um, that on the middle finger. And what am I doing it? Oh, yeah. There you go. Flaming fling. This is stunning. Like, stunning. It's not like she particularly does bad glitter mixes. <laughs> you know, most of my videos I go, ooh, look at this one. Look at this one. It's very exciting. Uh, but this, this is nice. And I don't do a lot of red designs, actually. And yeah, red is one of my favourite colours. I really like it. Um, I, I didn't really have much of a plan with this set. I just knew the fact I wanted to use Opal Crush and I wanted to use this red. And whilst I was searching around in my boxes of wonderment, I came across these decals and thought, oh, I haven't used any of those before. Let's give it a go. Um, so on the ring finger and the index finger, they're both going to be exactly the same. So I'm putting a thin layer of Opal Crush down. And then I'm just popping a little bit of Flaming Fling. I've got to try not to laugh every time I say that as well. Um, <laughs> on t those nails, there's there's just, just wanted a little bit of, you, you know, kind of, spattered in there it, it was I didn't want to swish I didn't want anything too structured I just wanted a little bit to mix in um so I'm going to do exactly the same on both of the those fingers now I've got a little bit of a new setup um in one of my previous videos I kept moaning the fact that this hand sits too low um, and people, uh, you know, when I'm working on it, the same with the hand rest I got as well. When I'm working on people, their hands sit too low. I'm like bashing my out my wrist off my desk, you know, trying to do it. So I have just bought myself a new stand for people to use. So I'm looking forward to playing with that. Um, I think Megan may be my first volunteer, but that video will come out later than other people. Hmm. Anywho. We shall see how that new setup works. And I've also bought myself a new light as well. Um, not that there was anything wrong with my other lamps. Just this is an LED um, daylight lamp. And it actually, it's a floor one. So it sits above me. So it's, it's not blinding me, basically. The setup for my other ones, they were so bright. Um, if I was sat there for hours, sometimes I would get a little bit of a headache from them. You know, great for you being able to see what I'm doing. Not so great for me eyeballs. Mm. Um, so I'm quite, I'm really liking this. Yes, and I just bought myself a new air purifier as well. I know, all the spending. Which it has, I, I tested that today and that has been fantastic. Um, I've got that on with the ionizer. Um, and then I also put my normal wax mount on. And it, it was great. The smell was so different, you know, it, it really didn't, didn't smell that much. Um, so yeah, properly chuffed. Um, going back to what's going on here. So on the pinky and the thumb, I'm doing a full coat of flaming fling on these nails. Now getting back to my previous point. So on this uh, flexi hand, I kept saying it, it just sits too low. 
I might hope he comes up. He goes, mm, yeah, he said, he does need to be a bit bit bigger, doesn't it? And, you know, he's like, mm, let me let me tinker with it for a little bit, which he did. And he managed to adjust it so it now does sit higher up. <sighs> the problem is it's, it still kind of needs that extra inch, you know. All disappointed when we just need that extra inch in our life. Um... <laughs> Yeah, it is, but it's a lot better than it was, so that's fine. And I've moved it further forward on my mat as well. Um, I'm not quite sure why it got moved further forward on the mat, but it, it it did. Yeah, I'm not sure of the reasoning for that one. It it just did. Um, so I am coming in on the thumb. <laughs> And I didn't want it to be full all the way down the tip. I want a little bit of a, a glassy tip going on. So I just want it to fade out over the tip. But my God, this glitter is beautiful. I mean, it, it really is. I don't think there's any person that could look at this and go, mm, no, that's not very nice. No, it is, oh. Nom, 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 nom. So once I've done this nail, I am then going to cap them and file them, which is always the most painful part of trying to do these nails. And then I'm going to come in with the water decal. Now, I followed the instructions, right? Um, this is the second attempt. So the first attempt uh, didn't say anything about putting base coat on. Um, is it this one? Hang on a minute. Let me check. Yeah, but um, with a lot of water decals, you normally put it on. So I, I just went and did it. Um, and then the, so the, I did my normal, put a bit of, bit of it on. Don't cure it. Um, water decal was in for about 20 seconds. I don't know where I've disappeared to at the moment on this video. I think this is probably the 20 seconds while she's in there. Um, and then it, it just peels off nicely off the back in, which is great. And then I'm going to take the water out of it. Um, and then I popped it on the nail and all seemed to be going according to plan. Okay. So far, so good. And then as I was putting this on, it seemed to tear. You know, something just... It didn't quite look right. Um, and I thought, oh, bugger, maybe you're not supposed to put... Because it, it didn't say on the instructions about using base gel. So I thought, well, oh, maybe you don't on this. Maybe the base gel has, has damaged the decal. So it, it you know. Um, so I thought, oh, OK, do you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll take it off and I will try it again. And this time I will just follow the instructions. Okay, so this time round, I've taken the, the everything off it um, and I'm just going to put another one into the water again for, I think it was the 20 seconds it said to do it. Um, and you take the water out of it and you just put it on the nail. And then you just, you know, let it set for a little bit and it, it will sit there and it, it will it will stick to the nail. Apparently. Um, but that that was not the case. At all. Um, so it started well. We, I thought, yep, yeah, okay, it, it's on. I've, you know, stuck it down. I'm being really, really gentle with it. Because, you know, I don't want it to pull or anything. And so I just, you know, get all the creases out. Flatten it down a little bit. And then I left it. Okay. Um, and so whilst that's drying, I'm going to come along and top coat the others. So in theory, because it says then, you know, you just top coat over the top of it, it should have dried and stuck to the nail. Yeah. I'll come back to that in a minute so you can just appreciate the wonder of the top coat. And the glitter.
Yes, I know. It is stunning. Um, and so then I, I come to the middle finger. And as soon as I put the top coat on, I, the, the water decal is not stuck. It hasn't stuck down. It, it's pinged back up. And so I, I put a bit of top coat on it to try and get it to stick down, basically. That's where I ended up. Um, so, yeah, I, I stick it down with a little bit of top coat put the rest of the top coat over the top of it and then after I've cured everything I will come back and put a second layer of top coat on it. Now even after all of that it still wasn't stuck to the nail properly right it was sticking up it was it looks it looks quite good in the photos um and you can't really tell it tell about that but I could tell um so I'm not entirely certain what I did wrong on this um and I, I did I did go back and I, I went and watched some videos because I'm having some problems with another set of water decals as well and I decided I'm gonna have a bit of a play with water decals who which suddenly seem to have become a bit of a nemesis for me. So um yeah if 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 anybody can spot what I'm I'm doing wrong, please do enlighten me. I'm like I say, I'm I'm always happy with constructive criticism. Um but to be perfectly honest, these are so beautiful, it could have quite easily not had it on. And if this wasn't was on a client, I would have just taken it off. Client, do you love that? My mates. Um <laughs> my mates. I would have just filed it off and left it as the um or put a bit of stamping maybe or or some crystals or something on it instead. Um I, I wouldn't have left it like that. Anyway, there you go. That is my design today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.